Today we'll talk about how to reinvest your trading profit. What to do when you have some profit in trading? Do you keep it? Do you spend it on like stupid shit like cars and everything? What exactly do you want to spend it in? So we'll cover that today. What's up traders? Welcome back to Bangkok in Thailand. Today I want to share with you a very simple kind of few tips about how to reinvest your profit in trading. So most people when they start like a business or they have a good job and they make some money, they tend to increase their spending. So they spend money on like cars and like bigger apartments and everything else. So then that can be fine to some extent. If you want to spend money on, on a bigger apartment, do it. If that's going to help you uh, live better. But there are some things you can, you can spend your money on that will produce bigger and bigger returns over time. And that will help you, first of all, trade better, but also be able to expand your net worth and being able to multiply your money. And these five things you can invest in when you have profit in trading you want to know them from the start because you don't want to make the mistake of spending on stupid things to only realize that they provide no return or no result and that you lose money over time by spending money on these things. The first thing is tools. So it's very simple to spend money on tools. You may maybe you buy a better platform if you can spend money on a platform or maybe you try to automate your trading a little bit more like I've done in the past. It's proven to be really useful to be able to invest money on algos or investing money on, on, on people to code that or any tools you can use to kind of faster in the process. So that could be alerts, like a trading assistant, that's gonna be linked below. It's gonna give you alerts for your trades if you want to. Uh, that's one thing. But all these things outside that you can use, uh, for example, TradingView is a good one. A lot of people, they don't wanna pay for TradingView. But how about if you pay for that and then you get better returns in your trading with that? That could be a way to invest your money, of course. Uh, how about all these backtesting software, these trading journals you can spend money on, and they will help you become better. Or these maybe scanners to find some trades in the market they will help you get better return. So that would be the first way to be able to invest your money to provide you with more freedom, more peace of mind, and a better ability to trade and improve your result over time. The second thing you can do is to invest in your ability to perform better. And the way you do this is to invest in things like health, uh, your, your fitness, your, your um, state of mind, so invest in things that boost your mindset, or invest in things that increase your health, or invest in things that make you more energized, all these things, and you will see a big difference if you like spend money on crappy food versus a good, like healthy food, you feel different. Your results are different, and you wanna have, of course, better ones. You wanna spend money on the right things, and that's gonna help you perform better. So when I began traveling, I was spending money on like any food I could find. The cheap food in China, that was fine, but I made the decision a few years ago, maybe like a year and a half ago, that I would always prefer to spend more money on good food to be more healthy and to be more energized as opposed to bad food. So something I've done and, and it made a huge difference so far because you can either spend your money on bad food, you save money for that, but later you have to pay for your health. You have to pay for medical expenses more than if you ate bad food today. So you gotta think about the long-term decision of that. And I would much rather eat good food now, put the odds in my favor, be more energized and be more active of course to be able to perform better. And the other things you wanna think about is all the things that are gonna reduce stress. So they could be activities, there could be things to do outside, they could be experiences that reduce your stress or help you perform better. These things you wanna invest your money on. They're not wasting money. They are things that you put money in so that you can perform better and you can get better results out of life and everything around. The third one is to invest in others to help you. So that could be hiring a coach. That could be hiring someone that you pay for him or her to do some things you don't like to do, like do your taxes or do um, your tracking trades or, or whatever that is, or do your algo coding. We have a service at this art trade where we call algo. I'm not doing it myself, someone else doing it, and for me also as well. And that person can code your algos. So if you want some help, that could be useful, but that's gonna save a lot of time. Like all the things I don't like to do, I try to delegate them to other people, and that makes a huge difference on how I feel at the end of the day and the time that I spend on the right things, of course, and just feel, makes me feel better. So I'm at a point where I don't wanna spend time on things I hate, because it's pointless, and I'm not doing it right, I make mistakes, whatever. As opposed to if you can hire someone, pay someone to do it, it's gonna be much faster, and your results are likely to be better, and you spend time on the right things, of course. Think about the fact that you will probably be seeking specialists in your life, like the doctors, like plumbers, everything of the sort, and you should do the same with trading. Otherwise, you're gonna be stuck in doing everything, and not becoming good at any one thing, which is not what you want to do, of course. The fourth way to invest your money is into other revenue streams. And I talk about this a lot here on the channel, how to kind of create multiple income streams. I'll put some videos for that in links below, of course, in the description. 
But basically what you want to do is you want to be able to create multiple streams of income. And that will allow you to have more peace of mind. That will allow you to be able to have maybe a bad month or bad week in trading. And not feel completely bad about it. Kind of feel okay because you can recover from that. And you have other income coming in to pay for your expenses, to save money, and to be safe, of course. So those are things that you can work on. There's many ways to invest your money. We won't talk about this for now, but that could be the stock market. That could be different market. That could be something around uh, real estate. That could be a business. Right? That, could, that could be many things. And I would like to give you a video about why you should do this and why trading as your only income can be f done, but not the way to do it necessarily. So you should watch this after if you want. And that's going to give you a better perspective on how I think you should do things. If you want to be able to create financial freedom and a bigger lifestyle with your trading, of course. Now, finally, the fifth one, the fifth way to invest your money is something you might not think about, but it's reward. And the reason why reward make the list here is because if you reward yourself, you're more likely to perform better and to keep doing the things you should be doing. So if I spend money on like something that I want to do, like an, like an experience or like a travel somewhere and like a fancy hotel or something as a reward for something I've done and defined in my trading before, I tend to be more excited about trading and I tend to be more disciplined and focused and more diligent about what I do on a daily basis. So you can define this in advance. You can, uh, first of all, think about what you want to achieve in terms of not like result, but in terms of, of actions. And once you get that done, then you get the reward. And you can define that reward, first of all, before. And then once that's achieved, then you have the reward for yourself. So many ways you can do that. Uh, just pick something that works for you. Could be travel, could be uh, some objects too. Like even if you want to buy a car, that's fine. As long as it kind of meets your criteria. And that's going to help you move faster and be able to stay focused on your goals. There's a reason why the coach and like a sport team, they tell the people in the team when they perform well. They tell them good job or whatever. And they give them a pat on the back. Uh, that's the way to do things. But you can also reward yourself because there's going to be no coach around you to be telling you you did a good job. And that's why you have to take the lead in setting reward for yourself. And so I think that's a way to do it. And that's a way that's going to be able to uh, make you more disciplined, of course. So reward yourself as long as you have a plan to do it. And as long as you define this in advance. So guys, I hope that makes sense. I hope you like these tips on how to invest your money. As always, we'll leave like a summary below in the uh, description if you want to kind of see these tips and take note of them. As always, don't forget to subscribe if it's not done yet. I'll leave a link below as well. The first link is going to be there if you want to sign up to my email list. And basically, I send a daily email for traders. An email every single day that's specifically designed to be able to help you reach your goal faster in trading. We talk about tips on the performance, mindset, uh, things that you can do on your analysis of the market and these things will allow you to perform better and eventually get to be becoming profitable or even trading full-time faster. We've got people that follow these emails daily and they get results and they improve the result and they tell me every single day by email which is awesome but I want you to be able to experience the same. So first thing below for that check out in the description uh, you'll be able to sign up to that email list and get these emails daily of course and if you have any questions make sure you comment below in the comment section and I'll catch you back here in Bangkok pretty soon. Ciao.